Today we'll see how to save component parts from your project for reuse in other projects. Here we have an automation clip, pattern clip with notes, audio clip and another pattern clip with event automation. The trick with saving these is to click on the clip title bars. Here the automation clip opens the channel settings for the clip. Then select save channel state as and name your file. Done. Double clicking on the pattern clip opens the piano roll. You have two options here. You can use the file save score as option or export as MIDI file. I'll use the save score as. Audio clips. Right click on the clip preview and save your WAV file. Finally, event automation. Open the menu, save automation as option and name your file. Before we move on, I've loaded a complex project to demonstrate you can save all the data in a project. You use the main menu option, File, Export, Export to Project Bones. This creates a neatly organised folder with all the data in the project arranged by type. So what about loading data back into a project? Audio clips are a simple drag and drop from the browser. Press F10 and edit your extra search folders to make them appear in the browser. Automation clips also drag and drop, but then you need to link them to something in the project. Do that from the linked controller pop-up dialog from the right mouse button on native controls and plugins, or use the tool menu last tweak parameter for VSTs. Event automation won't drop on the playlist. You need to first open a target control by right clicking and selecting edit events. Then drop the event automation into the event editor and you're done. Finally, score data also needs to be dropped on a piano roll. And that's it. Until next time, enjoy saving and loading project data in FL Studio.